Hello, my fellow comic book collectors. Today is going to be a fun interview. Um, this collector is similar to me in a lot of ways. We both are into Vampirella. Um, and that's actually kind of one of the reasons why I wanted to interview him. Uh, we had done a show together. I forgot. I think it might have been Biggie Shack's show or one of these shows. And um, he was showing some Vampirella stuff. And I was like, oh, I got some cool Vampirella stuff too. And, you know, sort of conversation started. And I was like, hey, you really got to come on my channel. And without further ado, <laughs> I would like to introduce uh, the Cantonese comic kid. Really great collector. Uh, and I'll add him to the channel. It's like here. Hi. What's going on? Hey, <laughs> it's good to see you again. So, good to uh, see you too. Yeah, it was, it was Biggie Shock show that we, we met on, right? Uh, it was Robert's show. Oh, it was Robert's show. On. Yeah, that's right. I was like, oh, what show was it on? I was trying to yeah, remember. Yeah. Yeah, I was trying to remember what show it was. Yeah, that's right. It was Rob, uh, Rob, uh, um, G. Yeah, yeah Robert Galvin. Called? That no, comic G what spot. He calls his show. He has like some name. The nerdy, uh, nerdy, the nerdy, the nerdy collective. Nerdy collector. Yeah, yeah. I was like trying to remember. Like it's some weird. Yeah. yeah. So um, yeah, that his show is pretty awesome too. So yeah, I mean, there's, I, I tried to like go on to all these different shows, and then sometimes I forget where I meet people. For the first yeah, time, you know? I, you're not the only one. I do the same thing, so you're but not the I, only one. <laughs> but you know what's funny? Uh, before we did that show where we were both on it, you were on some other show that I saw you. I forgot mm -hmm. what it was. Um, I was like, oh yeah, I, I noticed that uh, you had some pretty cool stuff, and I was like, oh yeah, I gotta, I gotta. Meet yeah, but it's probably bit, bit. It wouldn't. I wouldn't be surprised. Biggies. It would have been on anybody's channel. <laughs> yeah, it's like a small community. We all kind of hang out on each other's channel, right. right? Right, right. So yeah. So um, yeah. Let's get started. Let's. You know, I always ask the first question, which is, how did you get into comics? You know, tell us a little bit about yourself. That kind well, of. Thing. Well, a little bit about myself. Uh, I'm born and raised in uh, Florida. Tampa, okay. so in the U.S., if you yeah. can't tell, but <laughs> the Cantonese, they might confuse people. But sure. <laughs> yeah, I'm not in China, guys. Yeah. China. <laughs> but uh, the big thing was that got me into collecting was actually get Cantonese comics. It was actually my uncle's had com collected comics, mm -hmm. and I actually read. Uh, I think the the Asian comic guy first got a hand a hold of from them mm -hmm. was uh mr q uh well english translation is called mr q mr q okay it's interesting yeah it's it's like uh it's actually a cantonese comic it's not just some translated uh right 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 wow. it was actually a cantonese comic but uh if you go from english translation or cantonese translation to english it is mr q and it was like uh mr magoo type uh type character oh. Oh, yeah interesting. interesting but yeah. sort of a chinese version of mr. version yeah yeah, yeah, yeah cool. mr magoo yeah that's what got me in pretty much like got me interested in the comics because they they collected a bunch of stuff they collected uh uh they collect they collected a lot of stuff they collected um uh voltron stuff i think um uh the other character that's a, a human uh, uh, fights uh fights creatures i forget that the uh, Sometimes I forget. Like, uh, Godzilla like kind of thing, or yeah, yeah, yeah. But like it was in the Godzilla family type thing, where where he turns into a almost like a mech mech type thing. I forget the name uh, again. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much what got me into it. Um, and, and then, then my when did you switch over to like the more American style comics? A uh, more American style comics was. The, Probably when I was at, like, uh, another uncle got me into those. Uh, yeah, and he came from New York. He goes, oh, yeah, man, Um, you know, I got these comics or whatever. And then I started reading comics. And then uh, my mom owned a restaurant. If, okay. uh, if Yeah, my mom owned a restaurant. There was a newsstand up probably, like, in, in the same plaza she was in. Mm -hmm. So I would make deliveries to them. I would make deliveries to, to, to pl through the plaza since I was a kid. Mm -hmm. And my actually actually i have my first comic i ever bought but th i had to rebuy it because you know the first one that you ever bought so this was the oh okay wait you sort of froze there for some time <laughs> yeah yeah okay but, so uh, okay so this is the first comic you froze when you said this is the first comic I thought I yeah, yeah well okay, this so is we'll the, well, let, let's re repeat myself this is the first comic i ever bought with my okay. own money oh, i wow. made a yeah, I made my first delivery, and then uh, 
went to the newsstand, actually pulled this off the stand. Well, it wasn't this one, but uh, <laughs> yeah. because of the original one got all torn up. You know, when you're a kid, yeah, when you fold it. Just, like mangle it, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, but I got a replacement for it, and then uh, come to find out, it was uh, it wasn't a first issue. I always thought this was a first issue. So, there, I'm making you big so I can see it. Yeah, I always thought this was the first issue, and then oh, come to find like out, a it's shark a... is coming out of his uh, shoulder. Yeah, it's really crazy. Oh no, you're freezing again. But it's it's actually venom. And yeah, sorry, you keep on freezing. No, you're, you're good. Yeah. I had a feeling it would happen uh, since we're doing it at 2 o'clock. <laughs> okay, yeah. so that's cool. So that was, yeah. okay, so you picked it up again after like, many years later, I guess. Yeah, like a uh, couple, like like last year, finally found a good, decent, decent copy. So. So when did you sort of become like a, like, collector, collector? Like, you know, Collect, like, collector collector was probably in my 20s when I mm -hmm. actually got a decent job. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to have a decent job to be a collector, I think. Yeah. <laughs> so when I had got a, de a decent enough job, I actually started collecting, actually more reading it than collecting it. And then um, mm -hmm. hardcore collecting, I didn't start until probably, uh, uh, probably early to early 2000 early 2001 early 2000s probably okay so but this was the first one i ever bought and then uh yeah like what got me back to actually what really got me back into hardcore collecting was injustice the video game oh really so that, that's yeah that's not that long ago that's like maybe five years ago four years ago yeah, something like that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then uh, what got me really like really hardcore back? I mean, I was collecting at the time, but what got me like hardcore like looking mm -hmm. for certain things? Yeah, like the storylines that were in the in the video game and stuff. That's what got me really hardcore back in. So you were a DC collector then, not really Marvel. Uh, not yeah. But my first ever comic was a Marvel comic. That's yeah, kind of funny. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. That's why I was asking that. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. But uh, I was hardcore DC DC for a little while, got bored of it, and then went indie. Mm -hmm. But I was always into Vampy since I was seven, since I was like seventeen. You know what I mean? Like I would always talk about her, but I never, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Unobtainable book. So I'm like, oh yeah, I'm never gonna because my mom would never buy me anything like. Yeah, you know. well, it's not something parents would buy their kids. I don't think. Right. Yeah. So yeah, I was <laughs> seventeen. Found out about yeah. So that's how I found out about well. Molly Hatchet was really how I found out about Frazetta, but a mm -hmm. lot, but really Vampy was what got me really into his art and stuff. So, mm -hmm. yeah, that's cool. So, um, yeah, how would you show some books? Like, what show some of your favorite books? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, and then uh, actually, this is the foreign edition of uh, of uh, Lady Death and Evil Ernie's first appearance from oh, wow. uh, but actually. Varangian Vigilante actually gifted me this, AOK'd me this. Oh wow. So, <laughs> That's a nice yeah. gift. Yeah. So what where where is this from? Actually Germany. Oh wow. Yeah, it's actually from uh Vervangian from Germany. I actually actually AOK'd us uh, a couple of books from Germany. And this is this was one of them. And he AOK'd me Vampy's first appearance in and I think French or German. I, I forget, but you know, it's a different yeah. <laughs> It's a foreign so, language. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, he gifted me this one. But this one means a lot because it's actually from. This was one of the first ones like that I got, like a first foreign AOK -okay that I got from a uh, Revengian. So that's pretty cool. That's a pretty great AOK. -okay. Um, I actually yeah. have the American version of that, but yeah. I I actually have that one too, and that there's a funny story behind that one too. So when I get to it, when I get to it, I'll uh, I'll actually uh tell you guys the story behind it I got a couple of books here it's sitting right here <laughs> and then uh this one is because it's a uh, Howard oh, the Duck yep I do too because I've loved anim anamorphic characters mm -hmm. I've always loved them yeah. so um so man thing uh swamp thing any any type of creature pretty much and any type of animal that can talk yep so like Donald Duck, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yep. So 
that's a this was a that's a cool pickup that mm -hmm. I picked up actually this year, sometime this year. Actually, oh, really? okay, yeah, that's probably one of the worst times to pick it up. It's it's gone up recently, hasn't it? Yeah, it gone up recently, but I got a pretty decent deal on it, so <laughs> <laughs> that's always good. Yeah, so uh, and then uh, this is the funny story one. This is the one of my favorite covers that Eric Basaluda did or Ebass. Oh, wow, that's really Eric. great. I don't have that one. That's a nice one. Yeah, it's hard to find pretty much. It's a <laughs> uh, this one walked into my comic shop. Actually, my my lo local LCS. That guy had it. Walked in with it. I go. I've always wanted this cover, and then um. But uh, what the my LCS uh, owner <laughs> saw it, he goes, "Hey, I think I know a guy that really likes this uh <laughs> this vampy character. Yeah, come yeah. back, uh, you know, come back like a day or so." And then mm -hmm. he comes back, he shows it. I, dude, ah, uh, well, I felt like uh, I kind of ripped the guy off, but it wasn't really our, my fault, anyways, because the guy mm -hmm. didn't know what he had, and I didn't. Yeah. What then? I go looking up the book, and I'm like, "Ooh." That I I underpaid the, this guy. So so how much was it, and how much did you, how much is it worth? Uh, it is worth two hundred, like in the two hundred range or more now. Wow. But uh, but but in uh, I I gave the guy like I think fifty bucks. Oh well, I mean, I think fifty bucks. I know it sounds yeah. like you know way under price, but but I mean for for some random you know yeah all the cover like the people don't really know i mean that's right. actually a lot of money that's pretty good so he's, yeah, yeah. He did well uh, you know so well, when i had eric <laughs> yeah yeah i did well too but when i had eric sign it i sent it off to cgc cgc okay. wouldn't grade it they wouldn't grade it they wouldn't grade it usually they just give it a green label no because they wouldn't grade it because they were scared to destroy uh, damage the book because the book. If you actually look at the book closely mm -hmm. enough, the pa the pages of the cover is too tall. Oh, so, so it's, it's actually higher than a normal comic. No, no, it's a normal comic, but for some reason these guys overprinted the cover, like and cut it into. They didn't cut the cover right. They cut the cover like the top half of the cover is too tall. <laughs> oh, so when you go, so when you go pressing into the book, it's gonna smash the book wow yeah when you go put it in the slab it, it's actually going to smash the top of it and then actually so make it, it in kind of thing it's like an overhang right yeah that's what that's why they didn't grade it they said because it's a it's a major overhang on the book wow that's really mm -hmm. weird yeah and they wouldn't grade it because it was overhang and then plus come to find out they don't they don't grade stuff from j company for some reason and they, this book is from j company so wait, why would they not grade things from J Company? Uh, not sure, but uh, I looked at the uh, the red Reddit tweet Reddit thing and said they do not grade. I guess because, but I go, it doesn't show nothing much. So I'm like, yeah, yeah that's yeah. not the yeah. But come to find out, it's because of the overhang. It wasn't because of oh, anything else. Okay, okay. I thought it was yeah, like yeah. Some, <laughs> they hate the other company or something. No, no, no. It, it was just because of the overhang. Uh, come to find out. And then, like, oh, like you said that, yeah, yeah. Evil. I actually got it before it before it hit the hot list <laughs> or whatever it is. So it was funny because there was a vampy one at this con and this one at the con. Oh, nice. So I'm running back and forth because I'm trying to offer the guy that had the vampy one a cash deal, and oh. he had he had like three uh. What was it? 350 or 325 on the thing. And I go, hey, I offer you three, three in cash or two in cash or something like that. Mm -hmm. If I'm offering two in cash and everybody else is trying to pay you in card, hmm. Yeah, I mean, cash is always king, in my opinion. Right. I, in your opinion, he wouldn't take it. Oh, wow. So, That's so dumb. Yeah, he wouldn't take it. But the guy that had the evil Ernie said he'll take. The two, and I'll take a couple of ten dollar. If you have a couple of ten dollar books, or for my ten dollar bins, I'll you know I'll take a couple of your ten dollar books and a couple. I think a ten dollar books or five dollar books, and then I'll you know I'll give you, I'll get you a pretty decent deal on this book. So nice. I said, cool. So I got that, mm -hmm. and then actually I got the whole run. I actually got the whole run of them, 
Yeah. Actually, well, come to find this issue too is the key actually, for her first appearance, first cover appearance. First cover, and then her her first uh, appearance, appearance yeah. was in in one. But uh, the funny thing, how I got a hold of this one was a AOK. So, oh, nice! The, yeah. These are really great AOKs you're getting. I, I gotta convince people to give me such nice books. Yeah, <laughs> well, well, because uh, actually, it came from uh, Thorough. It actually came from Keep It Thorough Comics. Wow. Yeah, and Thorough knew knew I was a pretty big fan, and uh, uh, me and Robert were were just starting out the show, and uh, mm -hmm. actually, he sent me for Christmas Eve. It actually, this one came wow. to me on Christmas, so Christmas Eve. Gift. So nice. Yeah. So it was an A-OK -okay and a Christmas gift. And I, I always appreciate it. I even have the letter that Thero wrote me on the behind oh, it. Oh, wow, so. that's so cool. Yeah, so, so yeah, so this means a lot. And then uh, this is what these couple, these last couple of, uh, these three, well, actually, it was only two originally. Uh, when yeah. I went back the third trip to Miami, hanging out with Hialeah Comic Bro, uh mm -hmm. just a little podcast and all them we because all of us hang out if you guys didn't know all the floor guys hang out kind of hang out and uh, so the third trip we went up there the surprise to actually surprise uh just a little podcast cookie and i actually picked up two books these two were pick uh were pickups in miami so these came from miami mm -hmm. and then this was a aok -okay from a geek aficionado Oh wow! Yeah, another guy that I I gotta get him on my channel at some point. Yeah, yeah. So another uh, another one that actually actually this was a, this is a funny story. Actually, I had got COVID at the time, and he actually came down from MegaCon and actually gave it to Steve to AOK -okay mm -hmm. me this. So couldn't actually meet him, but I actually got AOK -okay from him. So that was pretty cool. Wow. Yeah. I mean that's it. Yeah, that, I, I was lucky about getting that set. I got um, way back in the day, like back in the nineties. Yeah, yeah, um, when it was cheap. <laughs> yeah, I, I went to the flea market and somebody had the set. I paid twenty five bucks. They're all mint yeah. condition. Like I said, when they were cheap, <laughs> when they were cheap back then. Yeah. And then uh, I mean it was a hot book, but it was yeah. it didn't it wasn't commanding the crazy prices now. I mean that right that's, right. But uh, don't forget the create the actual guy that drew Ernie and drew Lady Death actually passed away from lung cancer or whatever he did, because oh, it's really? a, I thought it was uh, Polito that did it. No, Polito Polito wrote the script for it, but the guy that drew it was uh, Stephen Hughes, and oh, okay. Af African American creator, and he actually passed away from lung cancer. I didn't like realize. early, I didn't... yeah, early two thousands. That's why it, that's why that thing is commanding so much more money now. Because he, he's actually passed, yeah. Well, back then too, but I mean, he passed in the early 2000s. But this, this Betty Page Dave Stevens actually has a funny story behind it. We mm -hmm. actually went out, me, Steve, um, uh, Brian, or uh, Bronze Age Brian, uh, okay. we, went out, we went out hunting for comics. Actually, we went to Ocala to go to uh, the shops in uh, Oca uh, Ocala, Florida. Went out to mm -hmm. the shop. They saw me grab like a vampire Carmen book. He goes, okay. oh yeah, I got a bunch of bins. I got a bunch of, you know, boxes back there. I haven't gone through yet. They're all a dollar. Oh, wow. You got that for a dollar? I got this for a dollar. Wow. That's a steal. That's a major steal. Yeah. Anything Dave so, Stevens is like, you know. Yeah. High price though. Yeah. I know because Steve, actually, I wasn't the one to find it. Steve, uh, Stone Cold Steve was actually the one to find it. Steve pulls it out and goes, Steve. See, Steve goes, he looks at the book. He goes, hey, Jeff, don't you always, didn't you always want this book anyways? I go, yeah. <laughs> so we grab it. So I pile on all the guy's books on top of this one because I'm assuming it's not a, you know what I mean? It, yeah. It, it, it 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 a dollar. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so I assume it wasn't a dollar. So we go up to the counter. He's counting everything. And then I'm like, he's going to get to this book and then tell me it's like two, 300 bucks. <laughs> you yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he gets to it. He go, oh, great, fine, boom, one dollar. <laughs> so nice. I'm like, well, nice. okay, I made up pretty decent. But that wasn't the only Dave Stevens that was in there. That was, we found, I found this one in there. Oh, nice. So you got yep. the set. 
I found this one in there. Actually, not the set. I only found two of these guys in there. Oh. And then the other one I found on my birthday weekend with the guys hanging out with the guys. That was my. That's my favorite from that run. I I, I have all the Dave Stevens covers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Now, well, the the other question you would have been asking me: What else am I working on? Dave mm -hmm. Stevens stuff now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Dave Stevens' his stuff is awesome. I, I'm a big good, good girl art collector, so yeah, um, I'm the same way now because I I got the I got the bad girls the out of the way now. Now now it's good yeah, girls. Yeah, yeah, now the good girls. Yeah, and then my one of my favorite Alex Ross covers. I always thought that was a cool one. I, I you know it's like the reverse of the mm -hmm. the the famous Fizetta one, which is kind of yeah. Because it's actually in memory of Frizetta, so because it's actually probably the the month that he actually passed or whatever and he did oh, wow. they actually came out with yeah because he he passed in 2010 i think march in 2010 and then i think this came out around the same time or like right like a month yeah, or two or a month that, yeah. yeah yeah so that's probably why they they did that in the first place but it's kind of cool that i you know what i mean if you have the original you have to have this one that's what i, I always yeah, say yeah it's like a nice little set front and back yeah yeah <laughs> front and back and I'm thinking about. I know it's not. It's not Frazetta, but I'm thinking about when I go back up to the museum to have Sarah, Sarah, and Mom sign it, sign this one too. Yeah, just, was it just, was it you that was posting out? Um, I know Puff was posting out. Um, yeah, pictures. From I the was. Frazetta, was it? You were too, right? Yeah, yep. And uh, because I'm super close with Sarah, like oh. uh, got to know it through vi another one through vi through this YouTube through mm -hmm. Varangian again. We I, that's how I end up meeting her. So uh, actually, I actually have a piece of I thought I would share this. I actually have a piece of art from her. Oh wow! So, yeah. This is um for people. Sarah that, yep. Yeah, the daughter of Frank Frazetta. Granddaughter. Granddaughter. Sorry, I meant granddaughter. Her, her, yeah, her. His daughter is Holly, so it's her, her mom. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. That's right. Sorry, I meant to. Yeah, I actually saw what? the video that Puff posted with the yep. interview with her. Yeah, it was kind of interesting. Yep. Yep. So I have a I have a Sarah Frazetta original. I have a Frazetta original in general. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 that's cool. Yeah. So, yeah, I got that, and then I got a piece for mom too. I haven't framed yet. It actually is with the with the with my Vampy reprint, and I'll pull that in a few minutes. It's because the Vampy stuff is right behind me anyway, so I can always pull that mm -hmm. one out. But uh. I'm showing off some more slabs that I got. That I got uh, this. This slab means uh, real a lot because old man Jack. I'm not. I don't yep. know what that is. To tell you the truth. So, oh, that's um. Oh, sorry. Big, little, big trouble in Little China. Yep, and it's uh, it actually had Low Pan on the cover. I actually grew up with this movie, and I, I was a big. Movie. Yeah, me too. And I was a big fan of uh, James Hahn's uh, Low Pan character. So yeah, yeah. I actually got a chance to meet him in early early 2019 or late 2019 in october yeah, of that the year and it oh, yeah. yeah and he had a spook it, it was a actually That's at a horror con i spent mm -hmm. way too much money at that horror con just to get his <laughs> signatures on a bunch of stuff but uh, yeah but this is the only slab that has cantonese on it and it has low pan on it and it has his signature on it so is that a variant or is that like the standard this was actually the cover a of the of the run but i actually have him uh actually had him signed in cantonese so, oh that's cool oh yeah, yeah i see that that's really cool yeah because uh because i saw it, everybody else had the same cover and everybody else got it signed just james han and low pan on top yeah, so i'm yeah. like hey he goes do you want me to write uh, my name in cantonese on the side of it i go yeah that's but the great cooler. yeah yeah so it makes this a one of a kind, pretty much. I see. Yeah, actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. Piece down the side looks yeah. like it really frames it well. Actually, it frames the picture yeah. well. Yeah. So, I actually thought it was kind of cool, and he signed it in gold, so that was kind of neat. But uh, the funniest thing is, if you read the slab, it says signed by James Hahn and Low Pan. So. <laughs> and Low <Lo> Pan. <laughs> so I'm guessing that they think in the Cantonese is Low Pan, but it's actually James Hahn's name in Cantonese. That's all it is. Yeah, that's funny so, yeah so that's what it says on my slab uh, slab so it's kind of funny so only low pen signed uh Sl slab, slab. <laughs> yeah and so, then my uh did you ever watch the the movie uh balls of fury 
Yep. That's a great movie. <laughs> He's in that yep. too. Yep. He's in that one too. And then our favorite, one of our favorite characters to all together, Vampy. Yeah. Vampy, yeah. That's a nice copy. Yep. yep. I actually picked up this copy this year too. I actually uh, traded my four five copy, and uh, and uh, some people who would say it was a bad trade, but uh, I traded that and I traded uh, first appearance of Spider Gwen, but uh, oh, wow. I don't regret. That's a pretty big trade. <laughs> yeah, I don't regret it though because uh, right now Spider Gwen's kind of dropping. <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> this actually, one... yeah, you probably traded it at the right time. Because yep, they, they... and then this, yeah, and this one's gaining gaining momentum. Right it now, so the, it was on the hot list uh, just last, uh, like at the time of recording this, it was on the hot list um, on Lords and Lawn Box. It was number one. Yep, yep. So, like I said, so I, I did. I don't think I made a bad trade at all. So, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm a big Vampirella fan. So, I yeah, think, you yeah, and me both, well. because well. the big reason is the big reason was I think. Um, I pretty much grew up uh, because my mom was a you know powerful female, uh, um, mm -hmm. powerful female in my in my life. So I'm guessing that's that's what attracts me to, to the female characters more is mm -hmm. because they're powerful female characters. That's the big yeah. reason why. You know what I mean? She's not a damsel in distress like everybody thinks she is. You know what I mean? She yeah, plays yeah. it, but she's not. You know what I mean? But at the same time, like I, I kind of like her style of character compared to the women nowadays in in a lot of movies, where it's like, oh, right. they're they're just as strong as a man, blah 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 blah. Right, right, right. right. I, I like but her. But this this sexy. one was yeah. She's this sexy was and a woman. Yeah, you know, right. she's a real woman. Yeah. Right, 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 right. I got you. And it's but come to find out, and you know, it's Trina Robbins created the outfit and everything. But mm -hmm. come to find out, when Frazetta got the original back, he actually took the outfit off of her. Oh, really? So there's a yeah. new variant <laughs> out there. Yeah. Well, found out from Holly and found out from – well, I found out from, from Holly more than Sarah. But Holly told me whenever he got it back, he actually stripped her. So <laughs> it's actually kind of funny. Oh, wow. Yep. Really and cool. then the story behind it is when Frazetta and James Warren were talking about it, they wanted a blonde. Frazetta wanted a blonde. Oh, wow. I think that would have been a mistake. But they still got a blonde because Draculina is a blonde. Yeah, I know. But yeah. It, yeah, yeah. So I, I guess they waited one issue to get the blonde. No. Yeah. <laughs> but they, they actually, so they went with, uh, James Warren went with his gut and went with a brunette. Even even Sarah says, I'm glad Warren went with uh, his gut instead of uh, Frazetta's uh, <laughs> eye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think for some reason for me, blondes and vampires mm -hmm. don't really work. I think it's more no. of a, a dark-haired woman kind of thing. Right, 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 right. And then uh, some something fun that I actually picked up over, over uh, this week, the last well, last couple of weeks was the these were. Uh, Forrest J. Ackerman. Where Forrest J. Ackerman signed actual signed photos so that was kind of cool so now i just uh leave it with uh with vampy so that's yeah. cool yep did you ever but, get to meet forrest jackman or no uh not because i was too young at the time and yeah. mom mom wouldn't take me to cons mom thought it was a waste of money being honest <laughs> Because that you know, you know how Asian moms are, man. Like if it doesn't, if it doesn't help your education, they, they, yeah, we're yeah, not yeah. doing Why it. Are you doing it, yeah. Yeah. So you should have said that there was like a piano recital at the at the con. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, would have been would have been nice, but uh, but now, nah. nah, and then uh, got a got a couple more slabs here, and then uh, this one is the newest the uh, newest one I got back. And it's in the newer slabs. Oh, okay. What's it's bloodlust? I'm, I'm doing this on my um, cell phone, so it's always a little bit harder to see. So, what yeah. what's that one? Vampirella. Vampirella bloodlust from uh, oh, okay. Joe Jusco, and I actually had Jusco signed a German edition. Oh, nice. Yeah, this is from uh, from Vigilante again. Like the sec, I think this was the second or third AOK okay that he got. He he sent us, and he sent me one of these, and I'm like. And I saw Joe Jusco was doing a private signing. I'm like, ooh, this would be a cool one to get him to sign. So yeah, that's a really great cover. Yeah, and it's a really cool one to get signed. And come to find out, the only one on census, a yellow label. Oh wow, that's yep. cool. 
Yep. I, I the like only... that idea of having the only one of something on, yeah. the, on the census. That's really great. Yeah, because it's the only one and it's the only German edition that that's signed. But there is another right. German edition. I think it's a 962 and it's like <laughs> It's a blue label too, so it's pretty funny. I, 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 he got the blue label, and I'm the only one that got the yellow label. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But so, I, I think I'd rather the gold label on that one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> one, one of one. <laughs> mm -hmm. One of one, and then uh, X, and then I have uh, golden age book from the, the. I think this is the oldest book I have in my in my whole collection. Is this? Is the tally ho? Yeah, I can't believe that you got that as a AOK. -okay. I mean, yeah, on my birth, on my birthday from Rob, like Robert G put in, uh, put in for it. A bunch of the guys put in for it, so I'm super happy that I actually have this. And the idea, actually, one of the friends gave me uh, one of the, my actually my LCS owner gave me the idea. He showed me one of his slabs that he actually got signed by somebody, and it's actually kind of a neat idea. I may have Sarah in a. And Holly sign it. Just it oh, okay. may, it's yeah, it's gonna look like 3D off the off the off the slab. Because I'm never gonna get rid of the slab. So I, that's so the actually ask, not. A, you should ask them about the snowman. See how I did. I brought. I actually brought it with me to the museum when I took Puff, and we actually compared the snowman to the artwork on the on the actual oh, the actual panels. And is it so the he same? Did, it's the same. He actually did do the snowman on here. Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought it was um that that was his first cover as well, like that little yeah. snowman. Yeah. So it's it's his first works in comics and his first cover. So, but yeah. it doesn't say it on the slab. So it's actually his. First, I actually compared to snowman because yeah. me and me, I actually showed Sarah. Sarah's never seen this one. At, well, they have the cover, but they never seen it in person. I go, hey, the mm -hmm. rumor is that your grandfather did do there's a yeah, snowman, snowman on the cover. So yeah, so we'll, me and her compared the snowman that he did, uh, you know, on the interiors, and we compared them both, and it's the same snowman pretty much. Yeah, I mean, supposedly Fazetta created that character, so you know, the yeah. chances are it would be him well, that would do the art, right? Right, for uh, him would uh, do the art for the snowman for sure, but the yeah. the char the other character it could be anybody, you know what I mean? But the snowman for sure, he yeah. created him. Yeah, because yeah. There, there's. She, Sarah showed me a bunch of little, like little, little comic books that he did, or little comics that he, little strips that he did, mm -hmm. and he he's one of the first characters that, that yeah, he's I never mean, done. Yeah, I mean, yeah. that's that's in terms of Fazetta, that's kind of like one of the Grail books. Um, yeah, I, I'm actually picking up a copy of that myself. One of the bit. One of the. It's, on, it's yeah. on payments. It's on payments. I'm I'm buying a bunch of books. From yeah. Fazetta. Yeah. So it's it's one. It's you know it's one of the major ones that that you really need if you're a Frazetta fan. Yeah, and there's <laughs> not that many on the census. It's a pretty rare book. Yeah, at all. I've yeah. I've trust me, I've looked all over and then or come to find out one of our friends had one of our other friends had the book. Oh, wow. we're going, That's so great. Yeah, so so the so the other friends reached out to him. Hey, he goes, hey, we're getting it for this, you know, for for da 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 da. da. <laughs> so gave him wow. a pretty decent deal on it. So that was pretty cool. But the main reason I really love this book, it not only because it's a shirtless bear fighter thing, but <laughs> the the funniest thing when I first got this book back, it said nine four, blue label, but it says it's signed by everybody. Oh wow! So that's why I really love this book. This book because the it's a talking point for this book because guys, you won't believe what happened with this one. <laughs> I yeah, got a yeah. freaking yeah, I got a blue label. It said everything. But a lot of the guys said you should have just kept it the blue label. But, but like uh, the other Rob said, like the other Rob Rob I know said the other Golden Age collector guy <laughs> we know, he goes, yeah, yeah he goes, uh, or Rob Fatstax would say, yeah, but that's CGC messed up. That's not like saying you know the books messed up. It, it's CGC yeah, yeah, yeah. messed it up. Is it, it nobody's gonna pay extra for a CGC mi mix up? You know what I mean? Yeah, so you might as well get the gold label. I mean, it's, right? It makes sense, right? But right. um, yeah, Shirtless Bear Fighter has actually some pretty cool covers. Like the the, the yeah. variants are pretty awesome. Yeah, I, I love some of the variants too. And then this one is another AOK -okay that I got actually oh, from my wow. from, I love that run, Adam Hughes. Yeah, yeah, from Steve, uh, from uh, my brother Steve again. Or yeah, I might as well call these guys like Puff and all these guys like brothers, man. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, so sentimental one did this one because. My grandmother had passed away just 
prior to when he okayed me this and he he found out and he goes hey I know your grandmother passed, but uh, you know, he. I always know you always loved this book here. You know what I mean? And uh, actually gave wow. it to me and go. That's really so cool. it means so. Yeah, so this one means a lot. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, really, I always like that cover. I have always felt like that was the one that really captures Zatanna like the most of all the mm -hmm. of the whole run. Yeah, of the whole run. Yeah, I think so too, man. I looked at the whole run and I. All I love covers, all the actually, they're all great covers, stuff. but I really for some reason this cover caught you know what I mean. I've always loved this cover for some reason, <laughs> not yeah, just because yeah. of the legs, yeah, you know. It's, but it's a great, <laughs> it's yeah, a yeah, great it's a great cover. cover. Even without the legs, it's still a great cover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah, so I actually have Bloodlust here, and it's actually signed by Jusko. The American version actually signed by Jusko. So that's kind of funny. Now I have the German edition and the American edition. Oh, nice. I yeah, actually so. like the American edition better. That looks nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. But uh, it's kind of funny. Now I have both editions signed. <laughs> oh wow! Yeah, by so both editions. Just go by just go yep. for both of them. Wow, that's awesome. Yep. So I have two ver two copies that are signed now. So I got a German edition and an American edition signed. Nice. And then actually, I have the. I always call this the pain, uh, stained glass or pain glass window variant yeah, from uh yeah. from from alex ross because it looks like <laughs> yeah well there, there's another question you're asking which ones I'm, uh, which books i'm hunting for there mm -hmm. is actually you there is you probably know the cover but there's an alex ross one i'm hunting for where she's out where she comes out of a pool of blood where she's actually coming out oh, of a pool yeah, but yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Awesome. so that's yeah. yeah so that's one of the ones that i'm hunting for uh dave steven stuff presetta mm -hmm. stuff like treasure yeah. comic seven <laughs> yeah i, I, I haven't got missed the boat on those ones that like uh the vampirella classics and the vampirella like the yeah. this, the the monthlies and stuff like that because like i was like i was a bit of a purist in my mind and i probably should have picked them up because i could have gotten them for cover way back in right. the day right right and then and then uh, uh here's uh, another one of my favorite pooh bear oh, variants well, in oh, from... uh, pooh bear has like so many awesome covers yeah and this is a uh, Eric Basaluda variant. So I've always wanted this cover, and I, I didn't. I didn't feel like overpaying for it, mm -hmm. and actually got a pretty decent deal on this one. And come to find out, he's gonna be coming to MegaCon. So guess what? This is getting signed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Like I think Pooh Bears is like such a funny thing. It's like the same story every comic, but different. Yeah. Comics. Yeah. It's it's hilarious. It's like different cover. I'm like, well, that's kind of funny. It's different covers. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then I got a book. Actually, I wanted to show you guys the 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 actual Frazetta art that I picked up. Picked up. Yeah, well, I didn't pick up. It actually I uh, got from my mom because I gifted her a bunch of a uh, bunch of because come to find out, mom's a big nerd just like us. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. That's always good if your parents are helpful. Yeah. Yeah. Come to find out, <laughs> Sarah, Sarah's mom's a big yeah big nerd like us. Because I got the reprint here. Okay. Yeah. Got the reprint actually signed by Sarah and Mom. And I got a original piece from Mom. Oh, nice. Yep. That's so Holly really Frazetta. Uh, that's a really good uh, artwork then. Yeah, that's ho that's Holly's work and then Mom's work. So wow. that's Mom. Yeah, so this is Mom. And then uh, the one framed is actually Sarah's. So, so did, the, I'm did, just did the Mom actually do anything like like no oh, okay mm -mm. so mom 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 uh mom uncles aunts ne didn't take you know sarah did a couple covers mm -hmm. uh comic covers and stuff and they they were a little not scared but they were a little worried about going after dad you know what i mean like yeah, yeah, yeah. Mom, you know what i mean so everybody's always going to compare them but Sarah yeah. just said, screw it. You know what I mean? <laughs> Whatever, you know? <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. But it's kind of funny that I have a piece from, you know, two Frazettas, you know what I mean? Daughter yeah, and granddaughter, really, so. That's a really great uh, piece there. Yeah, but trying to get this thing framed is a little bit interesting because, <laughs> because she actually ripped it out of her, her own art book, if you can see. Oh, wow. The, the, yeah, so. Like I had gifted her like a house, a bunch of House of Mysteries. Come to find out, she's a big fan of House of. She grew up on House of Mysteries, House of 
secrets and all that stuff. So, so I went since you know since I go out hunting all the time, I thought uh you know thought it'd be nice and a okay them every once in a while whenever I go see them at the museum. So, oh, wow. yeah, and then the the one where, yeah where last exactly, year. Where exactly is the museum? And like I know it's near you, but yeah, yeah, it's in uh it's actually an hour and like an hour and forty five minutes, almost two hours away from me. Uh, it's actually in Sarasota in Boca Grande, Florida. Oh really? And it was, yeah, and it, it's actually some. It was actually Rosetta Summer Home. That's what's well, actually I what. To, yeah. I go to Sarasota every year. Yeah, Christmas. but not Christmas. You need to come down in February, every February. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, because hurricane one because the main reason that artwork isn't in there is because of the hurricanes. That's the big reason why it's only fe from February to March. So uh, you need, yeah, you need to come down February, March, if you want to go, go see the, that half of the collection, because Pennsylvania has the other half. Yeah. Pennsylvania has, you know, that they, they all have, yeah. So they have three, so it's three siblings. So it's split into three, you know what I mean? It's split three to three locations. Kind of idea, yeah. Right. Right. Well, not really three different locations. It's just, you know, Frank, Frank Jr. Has the, has the bulk of it. Mm -hmm. Uh, then, uh, Billy has, the, a lot of the horror stuff that he's done so mm -hmm. that's that's both of them both of those guys are in pennsylvania and then both of the daughters are down here so holly and um and heidi are down here so so pretty much everything's down <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah so yeah so that's kind of cool so that's you know what i mean and i'm a big if you guys don't know i'm a, I'm a big betty page guy too so <laughs> yeah, betty page i collect all the betty page stuff too do you yep. know what? Do you know where Betty Page made her first appearance? Was in the Golden Age. I know that, but her first appearance on modern, if you count, if you count modern one, was they say a lot of the times they say it's Dave Stevens, but if if you count a tr if you count trades, this would be because the by dates this is the this this sub subsedes the the uh, the Dave Stevens cover. So There's she appeared in earlier thing. I'm not sure if you right. knew about it, but it's in heavy metal. Oh, okay. Did that? Oh, yeah. I remember somebody saying, yeah. So if you count magazines and then this one, so it's heavy metal. This like one. There's a story with Betty Page in it, like where she. It's like it's barely Betty Page, but it's Betty Page. Ah, okay. Yeah. So yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty much what I brought the show. <laughs> I mean, well, that's some awesome stuff. That's some awesome stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, I enjoy seeing, uh, especially the, the getting like original art from the mother and daughter is kind of cool. You yeah. Just need, now you just need to get the father and the, the grandfather yeah. or whatever. Yeah, but um, you know how much one of those pieces cost? <laughs> I, think, uh, I think there was an auction just like uh, last year, wasn't there? Like ten million or something like that for one of those. Uh -huh. Yeah, it was, yep. it was pretty crazy. I was thinking all they have to do is like every so often, like you know just sell one one painting or whatever and then mm -hmm. they're set for life yeah yeah well i mean that's what uh but because egyptian queen was in mom's collection actually originally so oh wow that's i have the poster of that and yeah you know, vampirella i think it's vampirella 23 yeah yeah something like that is it somewhere yes yeah, like, something so, like that numbering yeah right yeah vampy i know in the original run it was vampy uh, he done vampy what was it vampy one yeah. five i forget the other ones but yeah, yeah he did a cut as well with um, yeah, yeah and come and he did six yeah the face in six because you, you remember ken yeah, kelly did, did the face <laughs> yeah ken kelly did six but the story uh, actually i heard this story from a guy that actually interviewed uh frazetta all the time and mm -hmm. the story was that that ken kelly came over one night and Ken Kelly is actually related to Frazetta. It's actually related to to Ellie. So related his oh, okay. his wife. So they were actually related. So oh, that's so weird. that's kind of yeah, that's kind of funny because he didn't want to do certain covers, and he, so he mm -hmm. gave it to Ken half of the time. So hey, Ken, go do you know since yeah. since Ken would come over and peek at uh, what Frazetta would do, and he would actually go, oh hey, da 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 da, and. Lo and behold, Ken came over one night. The the guy goes, he goes, he comes over one night, shows Frazetta the, the cover he's gonna go, you know, go he's issue for issue really. six. He goes, he looks at it, he goes, 
something's not right on here, man. Like yeah, I it's really it's don't like I really don't like this face on this girl here. So he grabs it from Ken. Supposedly he grabs it from Ken, mm -hmm. like starts, you know, erasing the face and does his own face on it. So come to find out that cover that cover is Ken Kelly and a Frazetta original. I, but, yeah, that's weird. I didn't know that part of the story, but I did do um I did yeah. do a, a Q and A of one of one of my Q and A videos. I right. that, yeah. Yeah, but come to find out, because that's the, all I found out from last year. Uh, Sarah in, uh, invited us out to, to a bunch of people that knew him, and uh, like I, I went, I overheard him talking about like he'd done a bunch of interviews. I go, hey, I had a question, man. Um, mm -hmm. I heard this story about uh, issue six of the mm -hmm. original Vampy run that that uh, Ken Kelly actually brought it over one night, and mm -hmm. he actually, you know, Frazetta actually did the face on it, mm -hmm. and he told me the whole story because. He actually asked Frizetta about it, and Frizetta actually told him about it. So he actually, you know what I mean. So he actually heard it from Frizetta. So he actually told him, told him the whole story and everything. But come to find out, yeah, that's it. And then um, I actually met Mike Royer, so the guy, the third person to ever do Vampy, if you think oh, about wow. it, because because Vampy yeah, did Frizetta, then Kenny, Frizetta, yeah, then yeah, then Royer, because Royer did him did her in issue two. He did issue two's uh issue. Mm -hmm. He did the he did the story in that, and then come to find out, he did issue six's story to the cover. You know how there's the cover story, yeah, and then the girls kind of walking across, yeah, yeah, yeah. But come to find out, Royer Mike Royer actually did the story for the cover. But you know how there's always a story in there for with the yeah, cover, and yeah. I'm like, that's kind of fun because I actually flipped through six because I'm like, huh? Because I looked up Royer's uh work credentials or whatever it says. It says a uh, Warren run. So it says issue six. I'm like, issue six? He did something in issue six. So I'm flipping through issue six mm -hmm. and I look at the I look at the page and I look at the cover. And I'm like, dude, he did that. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So three so, guys were all on that one yeah. thing, actually. Yeah. 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 So it's kind of funny. And I actually met the one guy that actually did the story. So that's kind of funny. Wow. Yep. That's cool. uh, yeah. Yeah. And I met him this year. I actually met him this year. And then Was he uh, at a con? Yeah, he was actually at a con. He he's in in his early eighties now, I think. Early eighties, yeah, early. He must be pretty old. I mean, this book is from nineteen sixties and early. Yeah, 70s, yeah. Right? no, but it was funny because met him, super nice guy. But you know how how the older guys are. Well, cosplayers walk by. He's 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 saying, "Oh, I'm pretty girls." Da 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 da. <laughs> but you know how you know the older guys are. You know mm -hmm. the they get away. You guys get away with a little more. You know yeah, us. Yeah younger ones to say any other stuff you guys say we end up getting smacked oh yeah, oh it's yeah, just a yeah. nice old guy you know so being nice <laughs> yeah 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 but if i said it and if i said whatever came out of mike's mouth that mm -hmm. that day i would have got smacked left and right because I mean, I, you probably think oh he's such a cute old man you know like, yeah yeah pretty much yeah i'm sitting there watching him uh, dude we were just talking about kirby about everything he's done like just Hearing them talk, like, dude, he, they love telling stories. So I love hearing it. Like yeah. I'll, I'll talk to them. Yeah, because, but that's the whole thing was none of the guys could go to the, this con. So I'm like, dude, I'm not missing this because th this is the third person that ever done Vampy. I'm not missing this. So I yeah. drive up myself, go up there, meet him. It was, it was so much fun. Like just talking to him just to get to uh, know him a little bit. And I may have an interview coming at the end of the month, maybe. So from oh, him. Nice. So, so, yeah. Gonna... So. So speaking of which, since you brought it up there, um, we kind of answered the sort of the third question, which is what are you hunting for? But right. what are you working on in terms of your channel and what you right. know, people learn well, about? I'm, doing? Well, everybody wants, you know, how everybody, like Robert's been saying, everyone wants me to work on this vampy video. I'm working on it, man. I'm doing okay. a bunch of research. It's not, you know how it is. It's not easy because there's so much material on her. There's so much, mm -hmm. book, so many books on her. It's like, reading up on her. I actually have hard copy books and I'm actually reading all the books, making mm -hmm. sure all the information out there is actually correct. Some mm -hmm. of the information out there, some of these guys have the, about her are, you know what I mean? Are, Question. are like yeah, yeah, yeah. Question, but like half right and half wrong, you know what I mean? At yeah, the same yeah. time. So, but I want something that's definitive that actually is, you know what I mean? Like, like there's a, there's a, there's a rumor there. There was a rumor. There was a story that went around that Warren hated uh, Forsha Ackerman's 
take honor and had had him redo the had somebody redo it in the mm -hmm. reprint in the yeah. or in the annual yeah, but yeah. come to find out forest loved the cover so much had them do uh had that had somebody else do the artwork for the cover one at, yeah. with draculina on it so frisetta would have loved that cover because the blonde's on the cover yeah 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 but I'm I'm really curious of where Forrest J. Ackerman's original painting of that is. Like I don't know. It might have been. Was it one of the ones that was stolen when his house was robbed? It could have been because it's 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 one of the it but it, it looks just like Frazetta's cover, but it has uh Jacqueline on the cover. I'm curious where that one's at yeah, at yeah. all. Um because I know you were super you had got super close to him. I I, I remember you well, telling I, that. I, I, emailing. Okay, it was right, right, right. correspondence. It wasn't like, right, right, right. but but still considering he sent, it's like, still. really cool. He actually sent me um like you know I have those photos. He sent me a photo with him, Harry Housen, uh -huh. Housen or uh -huh. you know the, the guy that did the claymation thing. Yeah, and yeah. um Ray Bradbury. The oh, three that's of them cool. on the picture and all yeah. signed by each of them. That's really neat. Yeah, so it was that was pretty cool. He sent me that and um Yeah. He sent me an original script as well that he wow. had done, and he sent me he sent me a bunch of stuff. It was pretty. Well, cool. yeah. Well, how I actually uh, how I actually got introduced to Vampy was was that 1996 uh, movie. So <laughs> that's kind of funny, but that's, that's like how the I worst got introduction to Vampirella, by the way. But that's but that's what introdu introduced me because I remember. That got like a lot of my friends that have known me since a teenager says you've been talking about her since you were since you were like Did seventeen. Did you like the movie then, or? I'm get I'm guessing so. When I was seventeen, I actually <laughs> must have liked it or something or something it must have. Like she, she had this plastic. Well, no, no, I knew that. I knew now. I know that, but back then I didn't know that. You know what I mean? Like I was plastic -y. It was like the acting was. Everyone was right. overacting. <laughs> right. Like, but I, I, I right. you know, it has that campy feel, which is kind of cool. But uh, I got a, well, I got a question for you. Who do you want to see as her if whenever this, whenever the supposed movie comes? So I would kind of like somebody. I'm not sure like which actress would be this kind of person. Right. But I, I, I like the original Barbara Lay. Uh, uh -huh. You know that version of Vampirella. Ooh. Um, since you since you mentioned that, I actually got this and mm -hmm. actually signed by Barbara Lay. Yeah. See, that's that's cool. That's cool. Yeah. To me. Um, actually, I um, had an opportunity uh, way back mm -hmm. when to buy uh, the Vampirella costume. Bar Barbara Lay actually owned it. The, the right, right. Actual, you know. Oh, uh, yeah. You told me this story. Photos, yeah. Right? Yeah. The photo covers were all with her wearing that costume. Right, right. And she was trying to sell it. And I should have bought it. I should have bought it, but I didn't have the money at the time. It was like, oh, well, yeah, right. Yeah, but the, it, the, yeah, you didn't it have was the like money at the time. $8,000 at the time. But, that's uh, a lot. That's a lot back for whenever it was. <laughs> yeah, this is back 20, 30 years. So yeah, it right. was a lot of money. I was broke at that time. I was poor. Right. Um. So yeah, I, it would have been a cool thing to own, though. You know, the original right, yeah. it costume. Would have. And I guess she, yeah, you know, she was trying to sell that for a while, and uh, she put it up on eBay. Yeah, then, yeah. I wouldn't. I wouldn't mind. Well, I mean. I'm not sure if she does cons anymore, but it would be kind of neat to actually meet her in person. Know. I don't know how old she would be. She, I mean, like she was doing the photo covers in the in the seventies, right? So, yeah. Uh, last last time I looked, I think she was in her early seventies. Now I think, I think so. Okay, I think she was like late twenties when she was doing the covers. So, yeah, maybe sixties, seventies. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Yeah, I know that for sure. But it'd be kind of neat. Yeah, I mean, it'd be kind of neat because she was a Bond girl originally, and then yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean. So it, it it's kind of funny. <laughs> yeah, I know. She's I mean, pretty cool. honestly, I'm surprised they didn't. Well, it was at '96, so she she was a little older. But at least she could have had her play mom. You know what I mean? Vampirella's mom in it. So yeah, something. something where they kind of like right, right. were involved. Yeah. But um, come to find out, For Forrest is actually in the movie. I actually rewatched it. A lot of movies. He's in a yeah. lot of movies. But he's actually in the Vampy movie. He's actually I, the. No, I knew that. Yeah, yeah, and I laughed because I'm like, 
I know that guy. He like she's walking past in the in the in the club, and uh, you, you you see him sitting there. I go, I know yeah. that back of the head. But, but. <laughs> yeah, no, he's he's in a lot of movies. He he liked to mm -hmm. he you know he was a guy that was really into pop culture. He was really right. into sci-fi. He was he was like a he was Stan like he was Stan Lee before Stan Lee was Stan yeah, Lee. Yeah, he was pretty much. he was like a geek, you know, total geek, yeah yeah comic right. guy. And he he always wanted to be in lots of movies, so he he'd do these like cameos in so right. many movies. I think yep. he has like, maybe twenty or thirty film credits. You know, it's like something crazy, where right, like, right. you know, just like you know, you blink and you miss him, but you know he's in there. All right, um, right. But uh, yeah, um, yeah, I think he's a funny guy. He was really cool. Um, but uh, yeah, so uh, what kind of things? What what's going to happen on your channel? What what things are you working on? I'm well, like I said, we're working on a, vamp, a vampy video right now. Uh, and then you, you said you're going to do some interview as well with um, yeah, it, with um uh, Mike Royer, the third person to ever do vampy. So yeah. I'm I'm working on that one. I'm still talking to him, and uh, he's got a bunch of cons right now set up in February. But he said, "How's the end of February sound?" I said, "Sounds cool." But I thought it'd be kind of neat to actually get her, get him and Sarah, Sarah on at the same time. Oh, be kind of cool. neat yeah yeah i was thinking about it and then uh but i may i may try to push it to see if i can get them both on april because in april time like april 6th is my birthday so i'm gonna try to do it like oh, i did last year where birthday I, party kind of thing yeah yeah where i got that where i got her on my birthday and then i gotta like catch up with her on my birthday so i may try to try to do that again and have have her and him on because it's it'd be kind of neat to hear stories from him because he's he's actually met grandpa he met her grandfather a couple of times but never worked with grandpa though come mm -hmm. to find out I like I asked him a couple of questions I, I go you ever work with Frizetta or whatever he you goes would no they would have like worked together cross path yeah yeah like cross right. path since they they were about the same time because they were about the same time but I think working Frizetta there. was doing a lot of stuff where he was mailing it in he wasn't like yeah yeah he wasn't in house is my point you know? right, right the funny thing is that creepy fifteen cover. It, mom actually has that the original at the museum and mm -hmm. the story is that he walked upstairs the because ellie ellie goes hey you need to make uh you need to make the house payment or you need to feed the kids man you need to go do this piece of art or whatever <laughs> so he goes upstairs doesn't have the 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 board or the the canvas board that he needs mm -hmm. so he runs downstairs goes to the basement or something they're not sure if he ripped it from the floor or the wall, but the masonite off the wall or the floor. Because, but if you look at the actual painting, you can actually see where he ripped it. Wow! So he, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a really funny way to uh, get a canvas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he ripped you. So you can see it. He actually ripped it out of somewhere, but we're not, they're not sure. Like mom and Sarah are not sure if he ripped it out of the wall or if he ripped it out of the floor. That's but, pretty cool. And then he he painted it. He mm -hmm. stuck it in the oven to bake it so because he had to it was due on monday so he was type of uh <laughs> oh, so wanted it to dry quickly enough so that he could send it off right right oh that's funny yep so that's uh, that's a story that he they would tell you if you went to the museum like about a couple of pieces and how he was a t type of a slacker type but our artists are kind of you if you think about it because a lot of good artists don't like doing there are uh, it feels like work to them so their they own time their own time right yeah 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 so it's kind of funny just hearing the stories from from that just in general man like mm -hmm. so, like i can't like i said doing this doing youtube in general i never expected they could get to know sarah so mm -hmm. for that uh holly for that never because do if you told my 17 year old self you would end up meeting yeah, these guys you meet all these cool people and it's like yeah. no yeah i go no way in hell no way in hell i would have been uh, like the you know what i mean like my, my 17 year old self would be smacking me right now going no <laughs> that's cool though um yeah so again um i'm gonna wrap it up but uh thank you for coming on the channel um You're welcome. i really enjoyed the conversation we'll have to do this again we'll have to like, yeah. do a part two where we show some more right. stuff yeah. and um yeah it's really great to have you on the channel if you are interested in learning more and watching some of these interviews i'm telling my audience um go to cantonese comic kid on instagram or on youtube and i will link both in the description so thanks again bye for now